have heard of the man called who lived around 2,000 years ago named Jesus the Christ, who was born of the Virgin Mary, performed many miracles during his three-year ministry, who was betrayed by his own people and suffered under Pontius Pilate, and with a wounded body was crucified, now to a cross by his hands and feet. He died and was placed in a tomb, and who three days later rose again from the dead. This same Jesus paid the price for both your eternal salvation and mine. And he came to reach people like you and me. As Jesus said to Luke, in as Jesus said in Luke 5 verses 31 to 32, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Now I know that a lot of you have had one or more bad experiences with people who call themselves Christians. And I'm sorry for the way that those people who call themselves Christians, whose actions, attitudes, words and behaviour towards you, not only repelled you further away from Christ, that's their sin for which they are answerable to the Lord Jesus Christ for, the same as you are answerable to Christ for your sins, as am I. You see, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In John 8, the Bible tells of an incident of the teachers of the law and the Pharisees bringing a woman caught in adultery to Jesus, trying to catch him out by asking Jesus if they should stone her to death for such sin. And you know what Jesus said in verse 7? If any one of you is without sin, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. And all of them left, with the older ones first, only until Jesus and the woman remained. You see, each of us here, as Christians, have come here today to offer you a free gift. That gift is the gift of salvation, which Jesus Christ brought for you and for me. Salvation from what, you might ask? I once read a really good question with an even better answer. And the question was this. What do I have to do to go to hell? And you know what the answer is? The answer is nothing. You see, without Christ as your Lord and Saviour, Master and Friend, you, at the end of the day, will have to pay for the sins you have committed by spending eternity in hell because you refused to accept the price that Christ paid for you to go instead to heaven with him. Without Christ, your eternal destination is assured, and that is eternity in hell. With Christ as your Lord and Saviour, your eternal destiny is with him in heaven. But your acceptance of his offer of salvation is up to you. Stop putting off to tomorrow something you can do today. For it is written, today is the day of salvation. And all of us, each and every one of us, is as David Friedman once wrote, we live on borrowed time. No one can be sure when the loan will finally come due. For there is never a guarantee that tomorrow will come for you nor me. The Lord Jesus Christ is not asking you to be perfected before you come to him. He is asking you to come to him as you are. Jesus Christ said himself said in Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And to those of you who call yourselves Christians, who have learnt what to say and how to say it, who have learnt what to do and
and how to do it. But who alone know the true condition of your hearts, who in your heart are no different from the teachers of the law and Pharisees of Jesus' day. I tell you, repent. Repent. Repent of your sins. No longer be a whitewashed tomb. For the Lord Jesus said to such people in Matthew chapter 28, verses 25 to 20, sorry, Matthew 23, verses 25 to 28. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee! First clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside will also be clean. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside, you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside, you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. And in Revelations chapter 22, verses 14 to 15, Jesus also said, Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they have the right to the tree of life, and may go through the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs, those who practice magic arts, the sexually immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who practices and loves falsehood. So let Christ, who knows all things, clean your heart and the condition of your soul, so that you can pray with confidence. Psalm 139, verse 23 to 24, which goes like this. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen.